All right, Libras. So this is going to be your reading for November 2019. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a who's coming towards you forecast. Um, so this is going to be general. Let me just say that this is going to be general. So everything I say may or may not pertain to you specifically. Please make sure that you're using a level of discernment for what messages are for you and what's not, honey. Um, also, if you are someone who does want a personal message that is going to be tailored to you specifically, uh, definitely make sure you look at my information listed below in the description as well as the comment section. That is where you guys can book your appointments, buy intention oils, also some crystal healing jewelry if that's your vibe, okay? We have some cute bracelets over there that are really affordable. Um, definitely check that out and let's see what's going on. Libras for November 2019, please. Libras. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to cover is who's coming towards you. So what we have is pay attention to the red flags and we have the queen of pentacles. So with this, there may be certain things that you're noticing about your person here. Um, this may be that this person may be driven by money for some of you. Uh, for others of you, this person may be somebody who you feel like, okay, maybe this time they could be more... For some of you, you're hoping that this time around that this person could be more stable within the relationship as far as showing that they are going to be consistent, showing that they're willing to put effort and energy into the relationship, even building financially with some of you. Um, and it's just like you guys have gone through a rough patch, but it's like you guys are really trying to make things work this time around. Um, a lot of you as well, you're realizing that, okay, this relationship means a lot to you. Um, for others of you, again, this is how somebody else feels about you. This may be an earth sign, possibly even a Gemini for some of you. Uh, really, it's any sign. Take this reading how it applies. But I'm just getting a sense that there has been rough patches, yes, but somebody's wanting to change or turn around for the relationship. And there's some choices that are having to be made here. Okay. Now, when it comes to their feelings for you, we have the honeymoon card and we also have the king of cups. So I, I really get a sense that this person does feel as if like you are their vacation from life. Like for a lot of you, you do bring this person a peace of mind in a sense of like you help them get away from feeling like you know, there's so much shit wrong in their life. Um, with the King of Cups as well, again, this person feels very deep for you. Uh, they love you for a lot of you if you have been together that long. For some of you, this person really cares about you. Um, there's definitely feelings invested. I feel like this person um, has definitely been thinking about the situation, especially if you guys have been on pause. Um... And they've been just trying to process like what to do. But I'm telling you, this person feels like you are like the one for them. I, like literally, they feel like you complete them. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Um, especially if you guys do have some kids, some kids. If you guys do have a kid or if you guys have children, let me use that. If you guys have children, um, they feel like you definitely complete them and you bring their, their sense of happiness and they love the fact that you guys are building a family unit and they just feel like certain issues that you guys have went through they really want to move beyond that um I feel like this person may want to express how they feel to you as well about that but um we'll, we'll get into that more okay now when it comes to their next set of action stores you I do have retreat and it's clarified by the judgment card now with this they may want to you know take you on a private getaway for some of you guys like on a vacation for others of you this may even be spending like alone time not sort of like a vacation but maybe spending some days alone and really like talking things out for others of you um this person really again just wants to like share a peace of mind with you uh, about like exactly how they feel they really do want to end that cycle of like the issues that were there um and like i said this person wants to really <laughs> be stable in this connection this is interesting 
Now, when it comes to the advice I can give you, I do have calling in your soulmate and it's clarified by the tower. So, um, for a lot of you with this connection you have with someone, things can really shape up if you guys look at what is destroying the connection. Is this bad communication? Is this you just paranoid all the time that something's going to go wrong? Is this cheating in the past and somebody can't move on from that? Is this not understanding the other person's point of view? What exactly is it that's destroying the relationship? And there's a need for it to be addressed because if you don't, there's going to always be issues, especially, and it's beyond addressing it. It's actually taking actions to fix whatever is destroying the relationship. Um, and I feel like a lot of you, like I said, you can't move beyond this. It's just working on the communication, working on how you guys are building your relationship. Now let's talk about the, um, obstacle that may come up. So I do have flirt and it's clarified by the eight of swords. So for some of you, this could be you actually putting yourself back out there. You could be mentally feeling stuck here. Um, this could also be, uh, you having issues with really, uh, flirting with this person after, or, you know, being emotionally involved with this person, because you may have like randomly found out about this person cheating on you. And it's like, it may have started a really nasty argument for some of you. And now you're trying to heal from it. For others of you, you could have felt like this person was just a liar and playing manipulative games. You may be trying to like heal from this. Or for some of you, it's hard for you even have hope for in this situation. If they were somebody who was very quick tempered or very much um, just doing their own thing. But um, let's go ahead and look at the advice I have for you. The advice I have for my Libras, it says, deep down in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. And simply with this card, you guys really just need to take in consideration of what your feelings are deep down. Um, and not doing things for other people to make other people feel good or not to hurt other people's feelings, but doing things to make sure that, look, your happiness is not going to be a uh, compromise for anybody who is not playing the part like how you need them to be in a relationship because there is a need for both parties to come together and make sure things are equal for a relationship to coexist coincide whatever okay we also have the acceptance is key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control so understanding that the current circumstance that it is instead of acting like it's not a huge issue for some of you or acting like you know there are certain things that you guys can just move over a lot of you need to address certain things that you have been moving over and you haven't been speaking up about and it's like once you come to acceptance once it's out in the open now you can address it now you can deal with it and now you can move forward um but there's no need for you to be in a space to where it's like you, you, you're like, you know, being in denial or you're not having your stuff together to where you're like, you know, going crazy and whatnot because you feel like the situation is just out of your hands. So yeah, let, let's go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching this again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if it did resonate with you, definitely make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe and I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Also, make sure you guys uh, pick up your intention oils or your crystal healing jewelry. Definitely have some cool picks on there. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.